ഹലോ എവ്രി വൺ ലാസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഫോർട്ടി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വരെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് സോ ഇന്ന് ഫോർട്ടി ടു സിക്സ്റ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് നോക്കുന്നത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഫോർട്ടി വൺ എസ്ര പൗണ്ട്സ് അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് ടു കണ്ടൻസ് ജമേഷ്യൻ നോവൽ റിസൾട്ടഡ് ഇൻ ദ വർക്ക് ഹിയർ ദി റൈറ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഇസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ ഹ്യൂ സെൽവിൻ മൊബർലി ഹ്യൂ സെൽവിൻ മൊബർലി ഇസ് പബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഇസ് എ ലോങ് പോം റിട്ടൺ ബൈ എസ്ര പൗണ്ട് ദ പോർട്രേറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ലേഡി ഇസ് എ പോം ബൈ കുഷ്വന്ത് സിംഗ് and homage to sixtus properties is a book by ezra pound and the wasteland we know it is by t s eliot now question 42 it was the best of times it was the worst of times these are the opening words of here we have four options and the right option is a tale of two cities it's a historical novel by charles dickens published in 1859 this is set in london and paris before and during french revolution characters are sydney carton madam de farge charles dardenne alexander manet et al hard times is another novel by charles dickens and the main character is thomas gradgrind bleak house is another work and here the characters are jandis esther etc and this tells the story of jandis family next option a christmas carol is also by charles dickens and it's a novella and a ghost story of christmas here the characters are ebenezer scrooge jacob marley bob cratchit tiny tim ghost of christmas present etc question 43 the movement poets began by publishing their poems in the anthology options new moves new lines new lives new times here movement poets ennadu kondu uddeshikkunnathu philip larkin kingsley amis elizabeth jennings tom gunn john wayne dj n wright and robert conquest ennivareyokkana the movement produced two anthologies poets of the 1950s which was edited by dj n wright and new lines which was edited by robert conquest so here the right option is new lines now question 44 the irish writer who won the nobel prize for literature in 1995 options are samuel beckett seamus heaney james sinch maureen duffy here the right option is option b seamus heaney Seamus Heaney's famous works include Death of a Naturalist which is a collection of poems. Ivide thannittulla baaki options nokkam. Samuel Beckett is an Irish writer and his famous works include Waiting for Godot. J.M. Sinch is again an Irish writer and his famous works include The Playboy of the Western World, Riders to the Sea, The Tinker's Wedding etc. Maureen Duffy is an English poet, playwright, novelist and non-fiction author. His books include I Want to Go to Moscow, Horses Ply, Alchemy, In Times Like These, etc. Question 45. Max Beerbohm's ferocious attack on this British writer is well known. Here, the right option is option D, Rudyard Kipling. Max Beerbohm was an English caricaturist, essayist and parodist. His first book of drawings is The Caricatures of 25 Gentlemen. His stories collections include Christmas Garland and Seven Men. His only novel is Zuleika Dobson. Next question, a novel about a day in the life of a female protagonist. Options Clarissa, The Penelope, Mrs Dalloway, Shirley. Here the right option is Mrs Dalloway. Mrs Dalloway is a novel by Virginia Woolf. It depicts a day in the life of Clarissa Dalloway in post World War England. Ivide thannittulla Clarissa ennu parnya option oru epistolary novel aanu. It is written by the English writer Samuel Richardson and it uses a series of letters. The Penelope is a novella by Canadian author Margaret Atwood. It's a retelling of Homer's epic The Odyssey from the perspective of Penelope and her 12 mates. Surely a Tale is a social novel by the English novelist Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte used the pseudonym Currer Bell and this novel Surely is set in Yorkshire during the industrial depression resulting from the Napoleonic Wars. Next question the prominent inner party member named in 1984 നയൻറ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി ഫോർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ജോർജ് ഓർവെല്ലിൻ്റെ ഒരു നോവലാണ് നയൻറ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി ഫോർ ഇസ് എ ഡിസ്റ്റോപ്പിയൻ സോഷ്യൽ സയൻസ് ഫിക്ഷൻ പബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ നയൻറ
prominent inner party member named in the novel is O'Brien. Other prominent characters include Big Brother, who is the leader of Oceania, a totalitarian state. Then Winston Smith, he is the protagonist who is an everyman whom the reader can readily identify with. And we have Emmanuel Goldstein, principal enemy of the state according to the party of the totalitarian Oceania. Saim, a language expert and a colleague of Winston Smith. They work together at the Ministry of Truth. In 1984, almost all characters are important to know just their roles. Question 48. The author of Saturday Night and Sunday Morning. Here the right option is option A. Alan Silito. Saturday Night and Sunday Morning is the first novel by British author Alan Silito. He was one of the angry young men of the 1950s. The main characters in this novel are Arthur Seaton, Brenda, etc. His other works include The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner, The Ragman's Daughter, etc. Next question. A character in a play by Ibsen who has been described as the playwright's personal spokesman. Options Pierre Gint, Dr. Stokeman, Pastor Manders, Niels Crockstead. Here the right option is option B, Dr. Stokeman. Dr. Stokeman is a character in the play An Enemy of the People, published in 1882 and was written by the Norwegian playwright Henrik Ibsen. Dr. Stokeman has been described as the playwright's personal spokesman. Now the next question. Riders to the Sea etra acts ulla play aanannulladana. So namakariyam Riders to the Sea is a one act play by Irish literary figure J.M. Sinch which was published in the year 1903. It is set in Aran Islands. Central character is Maurya. Question 51. Luther is a work by John Osborne, John Arden, Peter Hall, Jonathan Franzen. Here the right option is Luther is a work by John Osborne. It is a play depicting the life of Martin Luther. Now next question. The 1965 British play which featured a baby in a pram being stoned to death. Here the right option is option C. Saved. All the four options given here are written by Edward Bond, The Pope's Wedding, Early Morning, Saved and The Bundle are plays by Edward Bond. The Bundle says the story of an adopted infant. Now the next question. The Gap of Time is a modern retelling of Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale by Here the right option is option B, Janet Winterson. The Gap of Time is a modern retelling of Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale by Janet Winterson. Winter's Tale is one among Shakespeare's late plays. It tells the story of a king whose jealousy results in the banishment of his baby daughter and the death of his beautiful wife. Janet Winterson's other works include Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit, Great Moments in Aviation, etc. Question 54. Kazuo Ishiguro, who won the 2017 Nobel Prize, was born in. Here the right option is Option B. Nagasaki. Kazuo Ishiguro, who won the 2017 Nobel Prize, was born in Nagasaki. He is actually a British novelist and his famous books are The Remains of the Day, Never Let Me Go, The Buried Giant, etc. Question 55. The House of Seven Gables is a work by Options Edgar Allan Poe, Nathaniel Hawthorne, J.C. Ransom, Robert Lowell. Here the right option is Option B. Nathaniel Hawthorne. The House of Seven Gables was published in the year 1850 by American author Nathaniel Hawthorne and it is a romance. Question 56. The work that was first published in 1855 bearing neither the name of publisher or author but with the writer's portrait on the cover. Here the right option is Leaves of Grass. Option C. Leaves of Grass. It was first published in 1855 bearing neither the name of publisher or author but with the writer's portrait on the cover. Leaves of Grass is a poetry collection by Walt Whitman. Here the other options. Self-Reliance is an essay by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Walden or Life in the Woods is a series of 18 essays by Henry David Thoreau. Letters to the World is written by Emily Dickinson. Next question. Anyone lived in a pretty how town is the title and the first line of a poem by. Anyone lived in a pretty how town is a poem by E.E. E. Cummings. Option C is the right answer. 
E. E. Cummings was an American poet. His other famous works are Next to Of Course God America, The Cambridge Ladies Who Live in Furnished Souls, All in Green Went My Love Riding, I Carry Your Heart With Me, etc. Let's now move to question 58. The title under which Melville's best known work was first published. Herman Melville's best known work in the Parinada. Moby Dick. So, that is the first title I have to The Whale is the first option. Ishmael, the sailor, is the narrator of this novel and it says about the quest of Captain Ahab of the ship Peckwood and Moby Dick refers to the giant white sperm whale. Next question. The bitterness of the Great Depression decade was reflected in the 1939 novel. Here the right option is The Grapes of Wrath. The Grapes of Wrath is an American realist novel by John Steenbeck. He has won Pulitzer Prize, Nobel Prize, etc. 1984 is the novel by George Orwell. To Hell and Back is Odie Murphy's 1949 World War II memoir. The last option, Gatsby, is a novel by Ernest Vincent Wright which does not include any words that contain the letter E. That is the speciality of Gatsby. This novel has not the letter E in any of its words. A work that deliberately avoids certain letters is known as a lipogram. Now question 60. Benita Younger is a character in a work by Benita Younger appears in the work A Raisin in the Sun written by Lorraine Hansberry. It's a tragedy. Here, Benita Younger is an attractive college student, a feminist, and her ambition is to become a doctor. Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun says about a black family's experiences in South Chicago. Other characters include Waterly Younger, George Murchison, etc. So that's all for today. I hope the video will be helpful to you. Thank you for watching and keep learning.